Okay, I just wasted like an hour and a half of my Sunday morning. It's sad. It's sad. And all I'm left with is a damn red plum insert. Okay, here's the deal. I started out a good morning. I figured, and I was like, well, last time the paper guy seemed to be coming pretty early. So I'm like, well, I'll go. And, you know, I needed the coupons to do the ship deal this week out of the paper. So I decided to go to the Wise Markets. I got there about 8.30. And the guy, he might come early. That way, because CVS opens at 9 o'clock. So I'm like, well, I'll get my coupon. I'll cut them out. I'll go down and I'll get my deal. I'm waiting. And I'm waiting. And it's 10 o'clock. And I'm still waiting. I've been there for about an hour and a half. Well, I left and went and got gas, so I didn't waste all my time waiting there. And what do you know? Hey, he's still not there. Finally, 10.15, I'm like, this is a lost cause. I don't think he's coming. Oh, my gosh. And just picture this guy. He's like, he's a large man. He looks like Santa Claus, except he's kind of more scraggly looking. I just picture he probably stopped at Dunkin' Donuts. Look, I didn't see crap in there, but oh, well, it's fine. I got a paper, at least, from CVS. They've got crap inserts. But anyway, yeah, so I suddenly gave up. So if there's any good coupons in the smart source this week, well, I ain't getting it. And which in turn, my CVS deal turned out to be... Yeah, it sucked. But it's still okay. I still did awesome, but it's, it's nowhere near what it could have been. Okay, so let's go in there and let's just see what we did. I did do the deal, but I just kind of went the route of no coupons for the shit stuff. Because there's still a good extra buck promotion, so that's okay. Okay, I bought four pledge. Four pledge, which luckily I got the last two of the lemon, and then I got some specialty surface pledge. Okay, these are originally $5.99. They are on sale for $3.00. And I had $4.50 printable coupons off any pledge. So those brought those down each to a dollar fifty, and then when you bought ten dollars worth of the participating products, you got a four dollar extra buck. So that's a good deal. It basically makes us about fifty cents. Not bad. Okay. Um, yeah, and this is another one. This is another one. Okay, these candy canes. They had the deal. Okay, I scanned these. These were a dollar twenty-seven. They were supposed to trigger a dollar twenty-seven extra buck. Now my store is really slow at putting the tags up, so I don't know what you're supposed to get an extra buck on. I only go from the what's online, and it said that was a regional deal, so maybe my region didn't participate. But I still got these candy canes for a dollar twenty-seven. But I got candy canes. Now I didn't get anything back. So that's. Okay. I know it sucks too because I could have got a dollar twenty-seven back, so I forfeited extra bucks. Okay, so I did the shake deal where you buy twenty dollars of part participating shake products. I got two shake hydro threes. These are nine dollars and forty-nine cents, and then I got some shake hydro shave gel, which is four dollars and thirty-nine cents, which that put me over. And then when I did that, I bought, I got $10 in extra bucks. So I got $14 in extra bucks. I started with 15 so I really only threw in a dollar. And I still have that gift card, too, because when we were checking out, the cashier was kind of in a tizzy because the 25% off coupon was giving her problems. So I still have not spent that yet, but I'll save it for next week. And I bought a... $1.75 newspaper, which I only got a red plum insert in. If the paper guy, the damn paper guy, was probably eating a freaking donut, a freaking cruller, that's only $1.50 if he would have been there. And then I could have saved another $5 on top of that with the coupons, but at that point I was just out of frustration. I'm like, yeah, this isn't happening. It was not happening. So I'm like, I'm out of here. I'm not even worrying about it. But I still did awesome. Okay, here's how it went down. Okay, I used $4.50 coupons. I used $15 in extra bucks. And then my 25% off coupon ordered me $5.47 off. Because the pledge is technically on sale. So I only that only got to take off of the hydros. And the summary item. So I did get 25% off that. So it technically didn't cost me the full $1.75. But for my red plum insert, it was just like crap in there anyway. But it's okay. 
ugh, I'm just it's it was just a waste of my Sunday morning waiting there and to end up with nothing at that point just sucked. It really sucked. Do you get it that it sucked? It was Okay. Now my subtotal after everything was twelve dollars and fifty seven cents with PA sales tax. And originally I thought it was only gonna be fifty seven cents. So, and the part of that comes from that the pledge is technically on sale. I thought that was regular price, and I didn't have $5 off of that, which still would have only brought it $7.57, so I still was way off, which, like I say, it happens. The spreadsheet's good. Usually I'm spot on, but then you have weeks like this. I make a video that says how easy it is and that it totally goes freaking foobar. Like... But I still saved $38.43, which is awesome. <laughs> My year-to-date savings is now $1,045.26. Um, we've reached the Glade and the Schick deals. But I got $14 back in extra bucks, and I still have my gift card for like $0.48. Cents. So that's still good. I really only forfeited a buck. I had to take $12 out of pocket. I budget $20 a week for everything, including the papers, which I didn't get. He's probably still not there. I'm not even stopping. I'm not even going back for one. You know, F him. If he can't get there. It's freaking a Sunday morning newspaper. Usually people like to read the paper in the morning. Here it is 10, 15. There's all these old people in there. They're like disgusted. And I'm like, yeah, right on. <sighs> yeah, it sucks. Okay. So yeah. So for $12.47, this still is not bad. I still kick ass at CVS, but it could have been better. It could have been awesome. I got two Schick Hydro 3s, they're $9.49. I got some shave gel, which is $4 and some change. And I got some candy canes, don't forget the candy canes, even though I didn't get any back on those. And then I got four pledge cleaners and a Sunday newspaper with one red plum insert, which has Jack coupons in it, pretty much. For $12.57, I still can't complain. That's awesome, but it could have been awesomer. Awesomer, yeah, I'm saying awesomer. What I've been through this morning, it is awesomer. So yeah, this is pretty much just a bitchin' episode. But I did look on the website. I did notice that that newspaper will deliver to parts of my county, so I may try to get Sunday delivery. Hopefully it gets here before 10, 15 in the morning. So we're going to check that out. Overall, still a good haul, but it was bad because I didn't. I could have got those coupons. I'm out of paper, so if there's any other good coupons in the smart source, I'm going to have to forfeit any good deals coming up in the future. But that's life. That is life. So there you go. So I would say if anything this week, yeah, if you can go print off those pledge coupons for do this deal and the ship deal is a great deal if you can get the papers. If you get the paper this week with the shit coupons, that's a good deal to buy the twenty dollars worth and get the ten dollars back. And candy canes, give it a whirl, but still you can use candy canes. Tis the season, put them on my tree. Yeah, and guess what? These are distributed, these are made in China. Made in China. Candy canes. Chinese candy canes. Life is great. But anyway, enjoy your Sunday. It's actually a pretty nice day here, so I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to go clean some stuff. And shave. Alright, bye.